let us start some basics about the sequence a sequence is nothing more than a list of numbers written in a specific order the list may or may not have an infinite number of terms in them there are variety of ways to denote the sequence one of them is exhibited here now we want to find the first five terms of this sequence it's very simple to find the terms from our sequence this sequence varies from n is equal to 0 to infinity we have to just plug in the value of n to gain the term here we see that if we put n is equal to 0 because the sequence starts from 0 to onward if we put n is equal to 0 here we obtain this value and for n is equal to 1 we obtain minus 2 by 3 after simplifying and similarly when we put n is equal to 2 we obtain this term which is minus 8 by 3 on the same pattern we can obtain for n is equal to 3 which is 6 and 16 by 9 will be obtained when we will replace n as 4 in the above formula so the first five terms of the sequence are mentioned here let's see another example the number of terms starts from n is equal to 2 to infinity we obtain first five terms we have to put n is equal to 2 for obtaining first term which is minus 1 by 30 next for n is equal to 3 we will obtain minus 1 by 21 and on the same bit pattern we obtain three more values by putting n in the above formula so the first five terms of this sequence are listed here whether the sequence converge or not let's see this example of a sequence we want to check that whether it converges or not we are aware of about the limit problems in calculus one limit at infinity we want to calculate the limiting value when n approaches to infinity in this formula there are two methods to find this limit we can write it as one minus 7 by n
three by n square. If we take common a n square from the numerator, and similarly, we take n square as common from the denominator. And now applying the element after cancelling n square of numerator and denominator. Now if we apply the limit as n approaches to infinity, we obtain this value with negative sign because there is minus or we can also use the L'Hopital rule we will obtain the same result which is minus 1 by 4 We see that the limit of the terms exists, which is minus 1 by 4. Limit exists and it's finite number. Therefore, we can say that the sequence converges and its limit is minus 1 by 4. There are three sequences. We will discuss whether uh, these sequences converge, converge or diverge. Let's see the about the first one. We have to check the limit at n is equal to infinity. We can evaluate this part, but what will be the value of this? For this, we take the absolute of the whole, for, whole formula. Then uh, it becomes easy to see that this value will approach to 1 for all values of infinity. For all values of n, this value will minus 1 power will approach to plus 1. So we will be left with this power. And solving this, we obtain 0. We can write it as We see that the limit of the term exists and for the finite number. Limit exists and it is finite number and we know that the sequence converges and its limit is zero. Now we will discuss the second sequence. We have to obtain this limiting value and
we apply here the L'Hopital rule. L'Hopital rule gives us this numerator and this denominator at first stage and now we apply the limit after simplifying this whole term which arises in the, this way. Now n approaches to infinity gives us this result and we conclude that in the limit of the terms existed and but we but was infinite limit exists but is infinite and so we know that the sequence diverges here we will say that the sequence diverges next we have to see this third part which is which involves the log, log terms <coughs> we apply the L'Hopital rule same as taking limit as n approaches to infinity and simplifying we obtain this term no we obtain the limiting value 1 and we conclude that the sequence converges and its limit is 1.